Not your fingers. Yeah, thank you. I'm not having the best days here today. Forgot my radio. Forgot my tripod stand for the camera. So it's on a pack of blocks at the moment. It's raining. A week, but some weeks can't always go as other weeks go. Just sometimes everything seems to go wrong. You can plan out as much as you want for everyone. You plan out for the weather, forecast might change, whatever. And you try to go with it. But today's job building this retaining wall. It's a one block thick wall just to give it a bit of strength. And if you're wondering, there's a big bank behind it and this doesn't look thick enough, it's onto solid rock. So it's not retaining anything, that bank's holding itself up. I'm gonna put clean stone behind it and drainage pipe, so this will be fine. If this was having soil behind it, it'd be a different story. There'd be a lot more weight behind it, you'd really have to, well, the structural engineer then, be stealing all sorts involved, but this is more than adequate for what it's retaining. So all we've got, we've got the block going back on one course, if you can see that on the camera. And then we'll do like a three quarter cut to get the bond back. I'll show you when we get down that end. And then we'll switch the block around to the alternate course then. As long as you've got straight joints, it's fine. So my radio today is the AirPods. I don't really like it. We're in, well, I'm working to the music, so I've only gotten to use the phone ones really. So it just means I've got my hands free then to carry on working so on the It uh, needs must because it was a bit quiet here without radio. A few of these blocks are a bit funny sizes. Oh. The blocks on the back there, you can literally throw in. You, you could put a line up if you want, but you won't go far out with them. It just means you fly through the mix. On the balls this thick.
Obviously I forgot to put the wheat in, wheat coals in, so we'll just chop a block down now. We'll take a few blocks out from the ones I've already put in. Just like that. Nothing technical with them, just whack them in. Put them in the pump like that. without cutting the block because you lose the bond if you do that so make sure you uh, you can stick them forward a bit if you want so they can plaster around them depends on the preference of this sticking out too much hidden pillars behind it which won't come above the ground level just to keep up a bit of strength there all the blocks are soaking now because it was a load of rain last night which is a bit of a pain we're just trying to tie in with the old wall on this side then Try to keep the gauge down a bit because that one's all over the place. I think we'll just about get it. The wall is getting a bit higher now, so it's a bit of a slog to get the blocks up over the line.
right, we need to tie into this old bit of wool, so we're just going to use a screw and tie. This is not long enough for a fur fix or a start tie. On mode. Draw on a slight angle, you'll see why now. Draw on a slight angle, because when you screw them in, you're not hitting the block all the time, you might have to just tap them in a bit. And when you screw it in, you can see it's not hitting it. But if you drill it flat, you'll be turning it, hitting your knuckles all the time while well, hitting this one. This will give us a good tie into the old wall. With a bit of strength, this is a bit of a weak point otherwise, and hit it then. Not your fingers. Yeah, nice and flat, just a bit of gap for the mortar to go under it. Perfect. Something good happened today. I saw my faith in humanity. A car pulled up. So he's clearing out his garage, asked me do I use lead, so he gave me a free roll of lead. That's a win. Uh, we are getting there, got another few courses to go. We're getting there, a bit awkward matching that old wall, because the blocks are not lining up with the old wall, the gauge just all over the place. Tried matching it. Only did the footings for this, but I'd say it's up and down like mad, so that's me. Can you see that part? That's why I'm just trying to keep this wall down. I'm not quite getting to the line, but I've got to pull it down so much of the... I'm not saying anything. Just good How job. Good job the fault? camera can't see it. It can actually. It already broke the tripod today. How is that my fault? You opened the pack of blocks. Okay, well your leg thing you and your stand is stiff because you dropped bricks of uh, blocks on earlier. Then again it is yours so so you can see we're getting a bit high here now. Probably should have some trestles set up. We've only got two courses to go, so we're just going to do like this. I've got enough trestles here to do anything like that with. So I've got young Danny passing the blocks as I need them. And me on the super safe pop up. Super safe this hop up is.
Lock, please. So we've resorted to desperate measures now because we can't reach. So I am now floating uh, behind the wall. Because we've got any proper scaffolding yet. No. While I'm floating, Danny is passing the blocks. Uh, grab another trial, Danny. Another bit. Yes, please. So yeah, this is the last course now. On this height, there's a bit more to go on the pillar, but that's oh, easy enough. stretch and the blocks are damp still. Lovely. Nice and heavy. Combo. 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 Shooting the diesel up block, please. Gobble. Oh. Stop recording.